Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm designing with the Hip Kit December Kit and my assignment is snowflakes and as you'll see on this uh, cut file which was a freebie for anyone subscribed on the site, I'm using the snowflakes from that cut file. So not the snowman, just the cut file, just, sorry, just the snowflakes. So what I want to do is I want to have lots of snowflakes in a wreath shape and I want them to be shimmery. So I took the Dazzlers from the kit, the sponge sugar, and I sort of scraped that all over the snowflakes that I'd cut. Um, I just wanted them to look shimmery. So I spread it on over all of them and I let it dry. So in a second, we'll through the magic of video, we'll speed past that. And now they're dry. And actually, they didn't cut very well on my silhouette so the the white and blue I had to do again the white and the pale blue I had to do again but you can see um me just pulling them out of the blue dark blue cardstock and we'll skip through that in a second but I I just cut them again put some more dazzlers on them and they were fine so you'll see they're all cut out there and you can see the shimmer on them now that they're dry so I took this pattern paper and I put some clear gesso on it just because I wanted to use some of the dazzlers also directly onto the page and I just wanted it to stand up to the wetness of that and I also wanted to put some paint on there. So I'm taking some masking tape and making my stencil um, usable with just a few flakes. So I don't want to do uh, messy flakes, I want complete flakes around. So next up, I put a circle here just where my wreath's going to go so that I know where to put my snowflakes. So I put them, put the stencil down and put some of the dazzlers through it. And you can see this This is what this is meant for, is, is to be sort of a texture paste or a stencil. So um, using it on the snowflakes in the way I have is just an alternative way of using it. And, and I didn't know how it would work out, but it did come out really well. So I just put a few of those around there. And in a second... When it's dry, I'll just show you how sparkly it is. And that's what it's done to the snowflakes as well. It's really pretty shimmer on there. Just looks very snowy. It adds to this icy effect of the snow. So here I am arranging the snowflakes around the wreath just so that I can see what that will look like. And we'll cut in a second to my photo and that's just a photo of me my husband and my dogs we're out in the snow we're bundled up just a quick selfie so um yeah it was cold outside <laughs> and we don't get that cold in England very often um so it's it's nice to make to make full use of the snow when it comes so I'm just got some white acrylic paint there which I've watered down and I'm flicking onto the page to create sort of a snow effect and as usual for me, I get it everywhere, except, well, also on the page, but everywhere else as well. And now I'm uh, splattering some deep blue sea shimmers, which is from the November kit. And I just do a couple layers of those and dry them off. There we go. And now I start to build the wreath again. <laughs> What I do here is I just sort of try and spread them out relatively evenly, but I'm not too worried about that. Just as long as they fill the whole circle of the page, I'm happy. And there's the photo back in. So that's where it's going to go. And now I set about just sticking them all down. I stick them all flat rather than foam dotting them, but I can pull up the sides of it. So actually there's a lot of texture there, even without foam pads. So you'll see that a bit on the close-ups. So I just go around the whole circle. This takes a minute or so. This is speeded up so that you don't have to watch me do them in real time, which would be painful. <laughs> there we go. So they're all down now. And so now I'm just pulling out some die cuts. And what I try to do is pull out any that are sort of a blue colour. And I pile them up there and then afterwards I decide what, what I want to use. But these are just the blue coloured ones. And that's a piece of packaging actually from one of the uh, 
embellishments that we have in the kit and I just liked the blue with the white dots on it worked well with the with the layout so I just cut that up and used that now I'm using the sequins and I'm putting a blue sequin on every white snowflake and I'm going to put a white sequin on every dark blue snowflake just to add a bit more shimmer and um yeah just to just to sort of you know, highlight each individual snowflake. I don't put any on the pale blue ones, just on the dark blue and the white. Then I pull out the little wooden stars that we have in the kit and I decide to paint those. So some are painted with the deep blue sea shimmers that I use for my splatters and others I, I use the white acrylic paint that I mixed before. So I've got some white ones and some blue ones. So I actually put those on while they're still wet, hence the increasing white mess that's appearing on my hands. Uh, but you know, I, it's fine. <laughs> so I'm just layering up the photo now, sticking it down, putting some foam on the back and getting that stuff down. My ATG gun ran out of tape while I was doing this, so I had to revert to glue. But that's fine, it's good glue and it does stick. So that's the photo down and now I'm just going to dry off the stars a little bit and stick them down. Although, as I said, they are still a bit wet when I stick them. So just sticking those randomly around the page, a bit of added interest in texture. Okay, and now I'm just going to put a couple of embellishments around the photo. So I've got the snowflake there and um, I think I put a little Christmas tree on there and some ah oh, okay first I decide some more white snow while I'm thinking about the other embellishments which again is wet when I try to do everything else so perhaps I should have waited for that but here we go so some of the puffy stickers here are going on um, Christmas tree That's just an enamel dot there, I think. And then these are the clear stickers, which say, baby, it's cold outside, all bundled up. Oh, what a day. And I love snow, or let it snow. And then um, I, I finish off with the title, baby, it's cold outside, from the puffy stickers. And I think that works quite well. There's the final layout. I hope it gives you some inspiration for using the snowflakes and making a wintry layout from the Christmas kit, which is very Christmassy. There's some close-ups. You can see the shimmery -ness of the snowflakes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.